Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to my base review series and kaboom! Yes guys, and today we're going to be reviewing this magnificent Town Hall 13 Legend League and Warbase. You know how it works guys. In just a moment we're going to check out some awesome Legend League replays so you can see this base in action, see how it performs guys. We're also going to check out my Legend League defense log so you can see all the stats regarding this base. We discuss what clan castle to use and at the very end of the video we give the base a score out of 10. Yes guys, so if you are impressed with the base today and you do want to download it and try it yourself, it is easy. Easy. All you do is head on over to the video description, click on the base layout link, and kaboom! Yes. The base will appear on your device just like that. And guys, if you are new to the channel and you do want to see the latest and greatest space designs, reviews, and Clash of Clans guides, hit that subscribe button and join the Samus Army. This is the place to be for the greatest base designs. Yes, guys. And just a quick reminder that on this channel is something called Channel Memberships is where you can help support the channel. In return, I will promote you to become a Samus Army officer. You'll get certain perks on the channel, such as behind the scenes access and sneak peeks to everything regarding the channel. An awesome badge next to your name. And at least one a month I'll give you a professionally built custom base from Clash Champs that you guys can take away. Yes, all the information about joining is in the video description. Anyway, let's head on over, check out my Legend League defense log and watch some awesome replays. Let's go. So here's my Legend League defense log for the base then guys. I'm going to scroll through so you can check out all the defenses. We used this base for three days in the Legend League. We had 21 attacks against the base. Of those 21 attacks, one was a zero star attack, six were one star attacks, and 14 were two star attacks. No three star attacks, guys. 21 Legend League attacks and no three stars. I'm really, really impressed on how this base performed. We're going to jump into some replays now so you can see it in action. Let's go. Kaboom! So through the clouds we go, guys. Yes, and here's our first attacker. We got some healers, yetis, bowlers, ice golems. This looks like a strong attack. Let's have a quick look at the base as well. Centralized town hall, scatter shots just below it, expos, heroes surrounding the base. Yeah, and those four compartments as well. Not only does it look absolutely beautiful, but as we can see from the Legend League defense log, people really struggled to take down this base. So let's see why then. So Queen Walk has started over there. Four Ice Golems moving towards the base. The Wall Wreckers sort of slowly nudging its way towards my town hall there. And the way that you're going to get lots of one-star attacks on any sort of trophy base, guys, is if there's enough defences around the town hall to take down a wall wrecker and all of the clan castle troops inside it. And there is on this base. And just as I'm saying that, guys, my three ice golems have leaped out the clan castle and they are defending the base. Look at them. That's Gary, Gordon and Greg, the ice golems. And I don't know what's happening at the town hall, but everything is frozen. The scatter shots are busy. The expos are firing. Yeah, well, one is. It's uh, trying to take out the enemy queen. She's having a bad time there. And those yetis are trying to run away from the town hall. But the town hall say, no, you should not have woken me up. Four earthquake spells opening up the base there. But it's too late. There's hardly anybody left. And that ice golem has gone over to say hello to the bowler. And that bowler has been frozen. But, oh, he's having a Yeah, he's gone. And what's left? Is that it? It's just the Yeti guys, the Yeti and the Grand Warden. Can the Grand Warden salvage this attack and take out the Town Hall? It's it's going to be close. He's not interested at the moment. He's, uh, what's the Grand Warden doing? Let's focus on him, those poor healers. He wants some Dark Elixir. No, he's changed his mind. Uh, now he's after the King, my King. My King's got exclamation marks above his head and say, no, don't do that. Thank you. There we go, guys. There was our zero star attack against the base. On to the next one now. And guys, what do we got? Let's have a look at that bottom bar there. Troops available. It's Hog Miner Hybrid, a very, very strong attack, which lots of top players use. You've just got to make sure you get the Queen Walk at the beginning absolutely spot on so you can path the troops through the rest of the base. Now, if anybody's going to attack this base, the one place that looks brilliant for your Queen Walk is just here. You've got the Eagle Artillery, the Clan Castle troops. Yeah. That's why those Teslas are there. So Rage Spell used to help the Queen out. But as you'll see in a minute, things get pretty difficult for this Queen really quickly. So she's doing okay now. Uh, yeah, so the Ice Golem's out. Three Ice Golems sort of going towards her. The King, he's going over there as well. Expo's locked onto her. Scattershot as well. So basically the Queen is under attack from about four or five different things there. I can't see what's happening. Ice Golem's... 
uh, are freezing. That expo has now focused on those healers. The scattershot just keeps firing. There's an archer tower on the right as well. The queen's having a really tough time. And she, yeah, and that free spell was just a couple of seconds too late. So the queen is down, guys. So this attack is in danger now. So what's going to happen now? So those healers just sat there. No, here comes the king. So the healers are going, okay, we'll go heal you. Uh, so the king just strolling on the outside of the base. Just going for a walk. Um, just uh, attacking my uh, gold collectors that's not very nice so now he's going to try and break into that compartment battle blimp says the battle blimp going to go for the town hall what's going on here guys it's just not made it into the base and the troops are trying to take out my king there but i don't think they've made it over that wall um but they're going to be able to take out that expo the king has just broken into that compartment guys and now some miners have been unleashed over there on the right with the grand warden and here come the hog riders so can our attacker still manage to get two stars here? It's going to be close. Like I said, with his strategy, it's really good, guys. But I struggle myself with this strategy against centralized town hall bases. Um, it's just difficult to... Because with the hog-miner hybrid, you've got to sort of carve out um, a path for your hogs and miners to sweep around the base. So now the, the miners are attacking the town hall... But the Giga Inferno is really... Uh, it's taken most of them out and the Town Hall is still standing. 50% one star has been achieved. But I don't think the two star... No. I don't know who's left now. Is it just... No. He's gone. I was going to say the Grand Warden. Somebody's alive. Somewhere. There we go. It's a minion. It's not Mike the minion. It was Marvin. And he's uh, unfortunately been Inferno'd, guys. So let's head back. Summarize and give the base a score out of 10. Now, guys, what I normally do is I always put a, a secret code word in my videos. Then I ask you to go to the video comments and put that secret code word there so I can see, see who's still watching. And I'll reply to each and every one of you that does. Today's secret code word is Marvin the Minion. Yes, guys. So anyway, back to the base. I love the base design. Uh, not only does it look magnificent, but its performance in the Legend League was absolutely superb. I'd say use three ice golems. Um, I would. I like Ice Golems. They're a really good choice for Clan Castle. Maybe you could try using some witches. A couple of witches and an Ice Golem, guys. Try that instead. See how you get on. So out of 10 today, what are we going to give it? Today, guys, we're going to be giving this base 8.5 out of 10. I really like it. I think it's fantastic. Take it away. Remember, if you do download any bases, guys, change a few things around, especially the traps. Keep people guessing. So this is Samu signing out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember the secret code word. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Any questions, just ask me in the video comments. I'll try and get back to you. Samu signing out. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching, guys.